Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So starting on Monday for this week of what's for dinner, I made a chicken enchilada casserole. So for the ingredients, we have some flour tortillas, refried beans, red enchilada sauce, a rotisserie chicken that I shredded up, and some Kobe Jack cheese. So all I'm going to do is layer this up into a casserole dish. I did forget to spray the bottom with some nonstick cooking spray. So my bottom did stick just a little bit, but just don't forget that. And I will have the original recipe linked in the description box. I served ours with some corn on the side and we just love this recipe. I've made it a handful of times now. The ingredients are super simple. It's really easy to put together and the only downside is it doesn't reheat well so it is best fresh. Next up I made a taco pizza. So for the crust I'm using this can of crescent rolls. So all I'm going to do is take those out of the can and unroll them. I'm going to form it into a large rectangle and then I'm just going to pinch the seams together and flatten it out. And then I'm going to pop that in my oven at 375 for 10 minutes. So while my crust was baking in the oven, I went ahead and got started on the taco meat. So I did cut this recipe in half, but I kept the amount of meat and taco seasoning the same so that I could use half for the pizza and then half for just regular tacos because I know that my kids would not touch that pizza. So they had just regular tacos and then we also had some left over for lunch the next day. After my crust came out of the oven, I let it cool down for a bit and then I went ahead and got started on the sauce mixture. So all that is is some softened cream cheese and some sour cream and I just whisked that together until all the lumps removed. So all I'm going to do is spread that onto my crust. <laughs> Next, I just evenly spread out all of that taco meat, and then I'm going to be layering on some toppings. So we kept it super simple with just some lettuce, tomato, and cheese, since that's what we like on our tacos. But feel free to add whatever you like. <music> I didn't 
serve this with any size. It has everything all in one. I did end up drizzling some taco sauce over the top, but I forgot to show that. But this was so good and such a fun way to switch up taco night. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making two recipes out of this Grippa's Family Recipes Cookbook. So I'm going to be doing the broccoli and cheese soup and also the soup bowls. I can't share the actual recipes. I'm going to be sharing some of the steps of me putting it together, but I can't go into detail because I don't want to get copyrighted or anything like that. But I will say that I highly recommend this cookbook. I have followed Ellie and also Bonnie on YouTube for years, so I was super excited when I came out with this cookbook with our whole family. Um, fun fact, I actually named my son after Bonnie's. She has a younger son named Boston, and the first time that she mentioned it, I fell in love. But anyways, this is a really cute cookbook. I just love the pictures and the stories in it. If I can link it down below, I will. And if any of you guys have this cookbook and have tried anything and loved it, let me know down in the comments and maybe I will make it next. But anyways, let's get cooking. with extra cheese and pepper and these were so delicious i have never had soup out of a bread bowl before and as you can imagine it is super filling i can only eat half and i was so full the rest of the day and um, the bread bowls were pretty time consuming but they were so worth it on thursday we had a lot of leftovers so we just had some more of that broccoli and cheese soup and i cut the bread bowl in half and used it for dipping so it is Thursday night and I'm about to put together these bacon wrapped ranch coated country style ribs. This is going to take eight hours to cook tomorrow and as I've said in a few of my other videos, we have our dinner pretty early because of Josh's work schedule. So I'm going to have to wake up pretty early to put this on. So I'm definitely not going to feel like putting all of this together. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it the night before, pop it in the fridge and pull it out in the morning. So now I'm going to show you guys how I put these together. So here is what it looks like once they are all wrapped up. 
Um, this bacon was cut terribly. I had an awful time trying to get these wrapped. So we shall see how they look tomorrow, but I know they are gonna taste amazing because I have made this once before and we love them. Normally, I would cook these on low for eight hours, but I was running out of time, so I did six hours on low, and then I flipped it over to high for 30 to 45 minutes, and then I'm just going to carefully remove these to a foil-lined cookie sheet, and I'm going to broil them on each side for a few minutes to crisp up that bacon. So here is my plate. I have two of the ribs as well as some barbecue sauce for dipping. I also made some Parmesan roasted cauliflower as my side. And then here is Josh's plate. I'm the only one in the house that likes cauliflower. So I went ahead and made them some shells and cheese as well as some homemade garlic bread using one of those leftover bread bowls. For Saturday's dinner, I'm making a really easy chicken pot pie. So, so far, I've just baked one large chicken breast in the oven. I seasoned it with some garlic, salt, and pepper, diced it up, and tossed it in this big mixing bowl. Next, I'm just going to be adding in two cans of cream of chicken, as well as this large can of mixed veggies. I will be draining off all the liquid, and then I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper and some onion powder and garlic powder. So, after I get all this mixed up, I'm going to come back and I'll let you know what I do next. <music> of bisquick, half a cup of milk, and one egg. I just whisk all that together until most of the lumps were gone. So now I'm just gonna get all of this into a casserole dish that I'm gonna be spraying with some nonstick cooking spray, and I'm gonna bake it at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. <music> Out of the oven it took about 33 minutes and as you can see it's nice and golden brown and bubbly I'm gonna let this cool down for probably about 10 minutes and then I will serve it up and I'll show you guys the finished plate here it is all served up couldn't be easier I have made this recipe so many times and it just turns out perfect every single time it's for sure a family favorite and um, I'm just serving it with some strawberries cantaloupe and blueberries on Sunday, we had a date night, so we went out to eat at Olive Garden, but that's going to wrap up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration. If you're new here, I hope that you'll stick around and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.